Welcome to the channel Maths for Graduates. Today's topic is center of a group. Center of a group is defined as suppose if there is a group G and there is any subset Z which contains all those elements which commute with all the elements of G. The mathematical definition of the center of the group is given as by this expression. Now the interesting fact about this center of group is that Z of Z is a subgroup of G. Now let's prove this fact. To do this, let us first make a strategy to do it. We know that for any subset H of G to be a subgroup, it must satisfy a condition that for any two element A, B in H, if AB inverse is also lying in H, then H forms subgroup. Now we have formed our strategy. Let us prove our claim. Let Z1, Z2 belong to Z of Z. That means from the definition of center of group, Z1 and Z2 commutes with all the elements of Z. So we have Z1x equals to XZ1 and Z2x equals to XZ2 for all X belongs to G. Now pre-multiplying Z2 inverse both sides in this equation, we get x equals to z2 inverse xz2 putting this x in this equation we get xz1 equals to z1 z2 inverse xz2 now post multiplying z2 inverse we get xz1 z2 inverse equals to z1 z2 inverse x if we look more closely we will observe that z1 z2 inverse also commutes with all the elements of Z. This means Z1, Z2 inverse is also a member of Z of Z. In the starting, we have Z1, Z2 in Z of Z. Now we have shown that Z1, Z2 inverse also lies in Z of Z. This fulfills the necessary and sufficient condition for subgroup. Hence Z of Z is subgroup. This completes the proof. Now let us see some fact related to the center of group. If G is abelian, then the center of G is G itself, that is Z of Z equals to Z. That's why center of K4 is K4 itself. And the center of group G is a normal subgroup. If you want to know more about the normal subgroup, we will discuss about it in the next video. Till then, stay tuned and subscribe to this channel.